What's up guys, JL folks of Road Angler TV. Got a brand new kayak here. Just got my girlfriend, the new Yellowfin 100, the 2019-2020 uh, version. But uh, it's got some really cool features. So pretty much this video, we're gonna do a Yellowfin 120 versus uh, Yellowfin 100. So I've got my Yellowfin 120 over here and she's got her Yellowfin 100. We're gonna get on the water and give it uh, her first maiden voyage on her kayak. So stay tuned. All right. We're off, guys. <sighs> Maiden voyage. There you go. Uh, you have it upside down. So the other way. Yeah, like that. Perfect. Boom. Let's go this way. We got. Let's go around this guy's bobber though. He's got a line up. So. So when you feel them biting it, set the hook and reel in. A lot of the time they'll hit it right when it hits the water when it's falling down. Yeah. There's something about this bait that drives bass nuts. It's something, yeah, it's something about that bug looking thing that they want it like it looks good to them or something. Or they see it as like a predator or something. All right, guys, first fish of the day, 16 inch largemouth. Just submitted them to the uh, 10 cat online tournament. Should bring us up a half inch, but not a bad little fish to start the day on the bandito bug. We're gonna let him go. Here's our destination, Luau Island. Looks like there's some people there already, so we're gonna claim our spot and do some chilling. my time in the sunshine worry the day away it won't change a thing I'd rather hear the birdies sing while on the sand I lay waves crashing into me taking in rays with my baby I don't got the no negativity on my mind I ain't gonna let this world bring me down Ruin my good day The sky is clear Been waiting all year For summer to come around Gonna leave my world behind Because it's time to unwind I know I hear the sound Waves crashing into me Singing love songs to my baby I don't got the time No negativity on my mind I ain't gonna let this world bring me down Ruin my good day
gonna save it when the sun goes away. When the skies are gray. All right, guys. So we're gonna go through some of the features between the Elfin 120 and the Elfin 100. They're two totally different boats, but pretty similar at the same time. So we're gonna start at the front of the boat and work our way to the back. All right, starting here at the Yellow Fin 120 at the front of the boat, we have our valve here where we can let out water and our handle, our vibe handle. And we have a big storage hatch here that has like a flap you can take this off. You can stick a bunch of stuff, like right now I got my camera tripod and my hog trough in there. And then work our way down. We've got some gear tracks on the side, a storage hatch in the middle. Well, it's the Vibe Hero seat. Two places you can store tackle boxes. Then a big storage well in the back where you can put a cooler and a crate and all kinds of stuff. There's a lot of storage here in the back and also gear tracks as well. When we move over to the uh, Yellowfin 100, it's a little bit of a different profile. We still have the handle here on the front, the same great Vibe handle. And then we have a storage hatch here on the front, which the Vibe Yellowfin 120 doesn't have. So you can actually stick a lot of stuff down in this storage hatch. And then it's also got the built-in cup holder. And one thing that's cool about the 2019 and 2020 Yellowfin 100 is it's actually got gear tracks. Yellowfin 100 I had from 2018 didn't have these. So this is a new feature, which is pretty cool. And this kayak actually has four rod holders. It's got two in the front on each side. It's got two in the back, which is a pretty cool feature, which the yellow Fin 120 doesn't have. And then they've also made these storage hatches a little bigger. This is actually bigger than the 2018 model I had. And it's got a bag inside that stays pretty dry. Same Vibe Hero seat right here, and plenty of storage in the back. All right, guys, so that is the yellow Fin 120 versus the yellow Fin 100. So now our last thing we're gonna do is a stability test. Now I know I can stand in my Yellowfin 120 pretty easily, actually better than any kayak I've ever owned. It's very easy to stand in the Yellowfin 120. So now we're gonna see if my girlfriend Annie can stand in the Yellowfin 100. So that's the true test here. So stay tuned for that. All right guys, it's time for the stability test. I'm gonna go ahead and stand up here on my Yellowfin 120. As you can see, it's very easy to stand up here on the Yellowfin 120. It's very stable. So now it's time to see the Yellowfin 100 has the same stability as the Yellowfin 120 or close. So Annie's a little bit smaller than me, so it's gonna be a little bit easier for her to stand up in the Yellowfin 100 compared to me standing up in the Yellowfin 120. So, can she do it? Oh, look at that, look at that. She can do it. See, now grab your paddle and see if you can paddle around like I am. Look at that. There's even a little bit of wake and she's able to stand up here on the Yellowfin 100. That right there is the kayak that started it all for me, the Yellowfin 100. And the new version, the 2019 and 2020 version, is actually better than the one I had. It's got the gear tracks, you got the cool Caribbean blue color. Got the four uh, rod holders, bigger storage. It's an awesome boat. So there you go, guys. This is the Yellowfin 120 versus the Yellowfin 100. As you can see, Annie is able to stand up fine in that thing. So anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace. I'm going to save it when the sun goes away. When the skies are gray Right now I'm doing fine With nothing heavy on